Hey everyone, J. Rowe Lights here, and today we are going to take a closer look at a small town called Bradford, Pennsylvania, also known as the home of the Zippo Lighter. In this video, you will be taken on a tour of the must-go-to spots that has something or everything to do with Zippo Lighters. This is J. Rowe Lights. Let's start with the Zippo headquarters. Even though it is closed to the public as of the making of this video, it's a neat place to see. From the corner of Main Street, you can see this gorgeous neon light attached to the main building at night. Also at night, you can go to the front of the corporate office and see Zippo lighters lighting up the street through street lights. There are also features on the sidewalk, and you can see where George Duke and the executives of Zippo Park. So it's a really neat place just to go see and look. Now, the main stretch of Zippo properties are about four minutes away, and they're very close to each other, starting with the Zippo manufacturing plant, then the fluid plant, and then the museum. The manufacturing and the fluid plant are currently closed to the public, but once again, they're right next to the museum, so it's a great place just to go look at, take pictures of, and then go to the museum. As you enter Zippo's ground, you'll see many Zippo images and logos. In 2007, this is a tribute to George Duke and his mother, Sarah Dorn. And as you approach the museum entrance, you will see the Zippo car and Zippo Jeep. This is not the original Zippo car, that was taken in for repairs in the late 1950s and never seen again. This car here was recreated in 1997 for the 65th anniversary of Zippo. And also they did the 1998 Collectible of the Year tribute for the Zippo car. There's the Zippo Jeep. As you walk into the museum, you'll be greeted by the gift shop. In this gift shop, they have lots of Zippo merch from t-shirts to Zippos to everything in between. Hand warmers, cups, koozies, little trinkets, lanyards, more t-shirts. Uh, the Zippos that are on display are found on the Zippo website. Uh, every Zippo in here could be found on the Zippo website. They really did not have any museum or visitor center exclusives. Uh, here's the Zippo motorcycle, which is really, really neat. More Zippos and more t-shirts. Only problem is they did not have very many sizes for their t-shirts, uh, just because it was a very busy weekend. Uh, here are some more Zippos. These Zippos here are really neat because these are finishes, uh, all the different types of finishes for Zippos. They did have the case knife side. I really did not go over on the case knife, knife side. Only had money to spend on Zippos. And then once you, if you decide to go through the gift shop first, then you can make your way to the museum. As you enter the museum, you will see the timeline. And this timeline is not just a timeline for Zippo. It is a timeline for, uh, for everything, for all sorts of things. That leads up to the making of the Zippo American flag. This flag is made out of thousands of Zippos. It is really neat. I looked at almost every single one of those Zippos inside that flag. Now for time's sake, I did speed this video up. Enjoy the walk through of the museum, but don't go too far because I do have some interesting and exciting news regarding the museum after this walkthrough. So stick around or fast forward. Just this is something you got to see and you got to hear because right now this is the only place where you can see it. So enjoy this walkthrough of the Zippo Case Museum.
So the big news that Zippo came out with at this 90th anniversary event is that they are renovating the museum. I'm not sure when they're starting. However, they do claim that it will be ready to go by summer of 2023. So I'm excited. If you haven't gone to the museum as it is now, I recommend you doing so if you are able to. However, I really look forward to going next year to see the new layout of the Zippo Museum. So as far as Zippo goes, those are the key places to see. There are some notable places that you can also visit. One is Georgie Blaisdell's father's house. It is a really pretty yellow house. Uh, there's also Main Street Mercantile, which is just a is a retail store of all sorts they have a lot of items there as well as a lot of zippos also right outside of bradford pennsylvania is salmanca new york in salmanca they do have the salmanca antique shop where they have over a thousand vendors tons of items it took me about four hours to go through uh, and they have some booths dedicated towards Zippo. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've never been to Bradford, I hope this gave you a good layout of what it's like when you arrive. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. This is J. Lights. We'll see you on the next one.